Hi. Death itself is a pivotal moment where human beings realise, well, some, that death doesn't give human beings justice. Now, secularism gives us, well, it can either give us false hope or it can give us hope that there is such a thing as justice in the world. Now, let's take Jesus on the cross. Jesus had to die for many reasons, but one can be said he had to show human beings that you all cry out and call this, this, you have this grave concern about needing to be satisfied with justice. For any act of injustice, the reward of justice should, should be just around the corner. So, if you remove God from this equation, Jesus doesn't exist. Therefore, when somebody dies... You've just scientifically demonstrated that there is no such thing as justice. It is a delusion. The courts of justice, all the judges, all the lawyers, barristers, lay people, politicians, even the public, are deluding each other when they crawl, cry out, we want justice, we want justice, because you ain't going to get it. Because when that person has stepped over the boundary between life and death, the last spark of hope goes out with it, just like the last beat of a beating heart. So you have to ask yourself, Stop deluding the world that justice exists. Or the justice gets given back to God. Because let's face it, in the Bible, God is God of the living. Now, you may not believe that. That's up to you but you're still having to deal with the fact that you can't satisfy your demands for justice 